Stop train stop. A Thomas the Tank Engine story. Every day, Thomas the Tank Engine chugged from the start of his line, at the end of his line, and back again. All aboard! Called the little blue engine's conductor. Every day, Thomas and his coaches puff along, not too fast, not too slow, and stop at every station. They stop at the Knopf Ford where a little boy wave. They stop at the Ells Bridge where a spotted cow moo. They stop at Hocking Beck. People got on, people got off. One morning, the little blue engine said, I am tired of making stops. I am going to go from the start of the line to the end of the line without stopping. Clockety clock, clockety clock, away went the train without looking back. The little blue engine wheezed right at Knapford. The little boy hardly had time to wave. In the dining car, passengers bounced up and down in their seats. Stop, train, stop! Stop on the spot! Our hot food coats and our cold foods hot! But the train didn't stop. It wheezed right by Ells Bridge. The spotted cow hardly had time to move. In the sleeping car, passengers bounced up and down in their beds. Stop, train, stop! Don't go anymore! Our feet are on the ceiling. Our heads are on the floor. But the train didn't stop. It wheezed right by hacking back. People could not get on. People could not get off. In the baggage car, trunks and bags and pets bounce all around. Splish! A fish splashed into a cat carrier. A cat tumbled into a bird cage. Squack! A bird flew into a suitcase. Stop! They called. Stop, train, stop! But the little blue engine and the long brown coaches didn't stop until... Squeeze! They reached a very last station. The train had gone all the way from the start of the line to the end of the line without stopping once. The passengers were not pleased. Their soup was cold, their ice cream was hot. Dresses were here, suits were there, fish wagged their tails, cats flew everywhere. And Thomas, the tank engine, did not feel happy either. He said, I miss boys waving, I miss cows mooing, I miss people getting on and people getting off. So from them on, every day the train traveled not too fast and not too slow and stop at every station. Go train, go! Thomas and Friends Go Train, Go! A companion book to stop, train, stop. Go Train, Go! A Thomas the Tank Engine Story Illustrated by Tommy Stubbs Here comes the judge in her big red hat. She has come to see the train show. Who will take the judge to the train show? Thomas will. Thomas will go. Thomas will take the judge to the show. Hurry, Thomas! Take me to the show! Take me there fast! Go train, go! Clickety-clock, clickety-clock, up, up the hill. Thomas, the tank engine, goes faster than fast. Screech! Go the brakes. Thomas goes so slow, 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 slower than slow he goes. Hurry, Thomas! Why do you go so slow? Take me to the train show. Go train, go! But Thomas cannot go. Thomas sees a goat. The goat is on the track. Beep, beep! Goes Thomas. Ba! The goat jumps back. 
clickety clack, clickety clack, down, down the hill. Thomas the tank engine goes faster than fast. Screech! Go the brakes. Thomas goes so slow, 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 slower, then slow he goes. Hurry, Thomas! Why do you go so slow? Take me to the train show. Go, train, go! The tunnel is so dark. Slow, slow, slow he goes into the dark, dark, dark tunnel and out to the other side. Clickety clack, clickety clack over a bridge. He was going so fast. He was going so fast, the judge lost her hat. Screech! Go the brakes. Thomas goes slow, 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 slow he goes. Hurry, Thomas! We're running late. You know, take me to the train show. Go, train, go! But Thomas must go slow. There is a cow on the track. Mmm, mmm, goes the cow. Beep, beep, goes Thomas. The cow moves back. Clickety clock, clickety clock. Thomas, the tank engine, moves faster than fast. Screech! Go the brakes. Thomas goes slow. Slow, slow, slow he goes. Don't stop, Thomas! Go, train, go! Don't stop now! I'm late for the show! But Thomas must go slow. There are logs on the track. The crane engine clears the logs. Clickety clock, clickety clock. Around the logs goes Thomas. Faster than fast. There is mud up ahead. The judge wants to go slow. Slow little engine, slow, slow, slow. Watch out for the mud. Whoa, train whoa. But Thomas cannot go slow. Thomas goes faster than fast into the mud. Splish, flash. Thomas goes fast. Pass a town, fast, fast. Pass a dog, faster still, fast at last. Nothing can stop him, nothing at all. No goat, no dark, no cow, no lamb. No crane, no man, no town, no dog. This is the fastest that Thomas can go. Screech! Go the brakes! Good job, Thomas! We made it here at last! You are the little engine, but you go so fast! Here comes the judge! The train show begins! There are red trains and blue trains and old trains and new trains and the new blue engine covered in mud. What will the judge say? I like all the trains. You all are such fun. But the moody little blue train is my favorite one. The end. Blue Train, Green Train Illustrated by Tommy Stubbs Up comes the yellow sun Blue Train Thomas start his run Green Train Percy sees the sun Now his busy run is down Well done Green Train Have fun Blue Train Beep, beep, click.
Ricky T. Clark, Lutheran Thomas on the track. Load up the brown cows, white eggs, green clouds. Load up the blue bikes, red wagons, orange trikes. Load up the new toys, gifts for little girls and boys. The sun is yellow. The sun is brown. The sun makes shadows on the ground. Here comes the gray cloud. Blue train Thomas speaks so loud. Down, down on the train. Gray cloud starts to rain. Beep, beep. Oh no! Where can wet train Thomas go? The sun is back. Blue train slows down on the track. Unload the brown cows, white eggs, green clouds. Unload the blue skies, red wagons, orange stripes. Unload the new toys for happy little girls and boys. Down goes the yellow sun. Blue train Thomas day is done. Home now to the shed. Beep, beep. The shed is where Thomas can sleep. Up peeps the white moon. Green train starts soon. Beep, beep. Clickety clock. Green train Percy on the track. Load up all the meals and unload along the rail. Boxes of all shapes and sizes. Blue presents, red prices. Cards and letters by the sack. Lots of brown crates in a stock. Green train Percy slows down. He picks them up and put some downs. Boxes of all shapes and sizes. Blue presents red prices. Cards and letters by the sack. Lots of brown crates in a stock. The moon is round. The moon is white. The moon makes shadows in the night. The night is cool. The fog is thick. A yellow light will do the trick. Up peeps the yellow sun. Green train Percy now is done. Home now to the shed. Peep peep. The shed is where Percy can sleep. Blue train sees the sun. Time again to start his run. Well done, Green Train. Have fun, Blue Train. I crack in the track. A Thomas the Tank Engine story. Based on the railway series by the Reeve W. Audrey. Illustrated by Thomas Thompson. Thomas was a little blue engine. He lived on the island of Zador with many other engines. Sometimes Thomas pulled his coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. Hurry, hurry, said the coaches. Sometimes Thomas pulled freight cars. Faster, faster, said the foolish freight cars. They would try to push Thomas down the hill. And sometimes Thomas traveled all by himself across the island. He chugged in the rain, he chugged in the sun, and he chugged in the snow. There is nothing a train cannot do, Thomas said proudly. One morning, Henry, the green engine, would not come out of his shed. He had boiler ache. So Sir Thorfinn had asked Thomas to help. Beep, beep! Thomas said to the people, I can take you where you want to go. Soon, clouds gathered, the sky grew dark, thunder rumbled, flip flap clunk, the hill began to fall, it fell on Thomas, it fell on the tracks. Suddenly, Thomas' driver saw trouble ahead, 
"Slow down," said the driver. The hill had made a crack right there in the track. Thomas came to a stop. His driver called out, "We cannot go forward, and we must not go back." Everyone off," the conductor said. "Now what shall we do?" said the people. They climbed down from the coaches and climbed up to the road. Bertie the bus was just passing by. Bertie beep his horn merrily. "A bus is as good as a train," he said. "I can take you where you want to go." All the people climbed on board Bertie. Bertie scudded down the road. "A bus is as good as a train," the people said. Suddenly, Bertie's driver saw trouble ahead. "Slow down," the driver said. There in the road was a bright green toad. Bertie came to stop. His driver called out, "There's a toad in the road. We will have to unload." Everyone off," said Bertie's driver. The toad in the road goes a force on the bus. What will happen to us? The people said. Then they walked down the road to another train station. But the trains were not running. Why not? Asked the people. They soon found out. Thomas was still stuck at the crack in the track. Percy was stuck there at Thomas' back. Gordon was stuck behind Thomas and Percy. James, with two freight cars, was in quite a hurry. The freight cars were needed in the yard, but James could not get past. Gordon and Percy and Thomas and the foolish freight cars refused to back up. No, no, no! They said, "We will not go." They said, so no trains could move up. And no trains could move back. He landed near the people. They all climbed aboard. A helicopter is as good as a train," said Harold. "I can take you where you want to go." The breakdown crew came to replace the broken track. By the time they arrived, rain was falling hard. The crew came with cranes. They sang while they work. A crane is as good as a bus or a train. We'll fix up your track, and we don't mind the rain. Finally, Thomas could move. So could Percy and Gordon. James, with his freight cars, was close behind. They turned on the turntable and went back to work. The people saw Thomas waiting to take them home. Are you sure you can take us where you want to go? They asked. I thought there was nothing a train could not do," said Thomas. "But now I know that just isn't true. I learned a big lesson from one little crack: a train is only as good as its track." Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos read aloud.